why is the corporate life path and Cyberpunk 2077 probably the best one in the game? That's the topic of today's video. Ladies and gents, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you some information about the Corporal Life Path and Cyberpunk 2077. So let's start. I'm not going into deep about the lore and all that stuff. We are talking about facts that you can benefit from the Corporal Life Path because you are here on the Inside Gaming channel. If you're new to this channel, we make videos about how to improve your gaming performance and gaming experience. That's why you should subscribe to this channel. So your start as a corpo is completely different compared to the nomad and the street kid. You're living a good life, money isn't that issue and you get in touch with the big business in Cyberpunk 2077. The big question is how long can you have and keep that good position? The corpos as we know so far are the big players in Cyberpunk 2077. You are a businessman, you're living a high life, wearing nice suits and all of that stuff. As a corpo you can climb up the business ladder, the way of the money and in Cyberpunk 2077 you know that the corpos have the good shit. They have the good stuff, they have the good gear, you know how to make business because you are a businessman in your natural person. It depends of course on your playstyle, you can play your corpo how you like, but being a corpo knows how to interact with other corpos, corpos of course, and you know how to make some deal, you know what you have to say or you know what you have to do, you know some business information about the stuff around you, and that means you know how to make deals for yourself, for your character. This is the way how you can improve your gameplay and how you make your life a little bit easier, because you get a lot of discounts from other corpos and from other trades you know how to save some money and you know where you have to spend your money but as I said your life path depends on how you play your life path of course but you have this natural ability to choose nice corpo stuff to get gear a little bit easier compared to other stuff like the street kit or the nomads the nomads of course have some technical knowledge and the street kids know the undergrounds and all of that stuff but you are a businessman so coming to the end game, you will save some money and you will have very nice opportunities in terms of getting gear a little bit more easier compared to the others. In my opinion, they have to grind a little bit more, but that's all my speculation about what we know so far from the game. Because you have to remember, as a corpo, you start in the prologue in the Arasaka Corporation and those guys know how to make good stuff. The stuff is expensive, but the stuff is very nice. Maybe you fall a little bit from grace, but you should explore that by yourself. So you should remember, as a corpo, you have a better natural connection to other corpos and you will meet a lot during your gameplay. So if you want to maximize your corpo lifestyle, you don't have to be this speaking only rich kid, but you can rely on your corpo natural habit, making good deals with the right people. It's also very interesting if we take a look to the other two life paths in Cyberpunk 2077 that CDPR didn't show that much about the corpo. If we compare it to the other one as I said, that's very interesting and that makes me a little bit curious. That's why I am going to play a corpo stealth kinda hitmanish character and I think that could be very interesting and I will get my grace back. So guys, because you can do a lot in Cyberpunk 2077, I'm interested in your decision. Which life path are you going to play and which type of character are you playing? Write it in the comments below and don't forget to like this video because I'm very interested in winning your likes because as a German I didn't want that much. So show the world that we can win something together and I will see you in the next video.